Hi everyone, it's Drew. Um, I wanted to show you my altered art box, which I designed. Um, one second, let me go get the paper pad that I used. Um, I designed this altered art box using the Graphic 45 Halloween in Wonderland paper collection. And this is an 8x8 pad, and let me just flip through some of these papers so you guys can see them. They're so pretty. I love this collection. Really fun. So that was the paper pad used to make this um, this altered box. And I handmade the box using chipboard and grunge board um, because I needed something flimsy for the top so that it could open. So this is just like one of those little boxes from the Michael store that everybody gets in altars. So I'm, I wanted to make my own because I saw Arlene's video on it and it looked they looked so cool. So I wanted to design my own box. So I did. And I'm going to go over how I designed it. Oh, first what I did was I cut a four and a half inch by three inch strip of chipboard and I cut the corners off. I used a rounded area and I'm using this as a jewelry box so here are some earrings because I make jewelry and sell it so just putting all my steampunk jewelry in here because I like the steampunk feel of this. And I decoupaged the whole box and I used grunge board all along this side here. So that's, let me just, I'm going to take the jewelry out of here because it's shaking around right now. I'll show that to you guys as well. Okay, so basically what I did was I added the patterned paper all along the whole piece of grunge board. This is one whole piece of grunge board. I painted the whole box this brown color first, and then I added that onto it. Um, I decoupaged the side with the Mad Hatter paper and just added that on. And the front has a couple different papers. It has this um, little postage stamp type paper, um, a teapot, a little person with a pumpkin, and a little clock. And it has some leaf ribbon that everybody loves. And I attached that on. I punched two holes in the chipboard in the front. And everything's hot glued together. You could probably see the hot glue seams back there. And then I added two brads on either side. And I added this ribbon right here. This is uh, that ribbon. And to the top, I added this steampunk gear, which is actual from a, a clock. It's a gear with another gear on top of it. And the back just happened to be long and it pressed just like an eyelet. It pressed right onto it like an eyelet. It was so cool. So I pressed that onto the eyelet and I used that as my closure. Um, I cut out a little title from one of them that says, at last we thought you'd never arrive. And I cut that out and I decoupage that on the front and I left a little girl on it so it looks like she's walking into the sign and she's walking off the box. Um, I added a couple rhinestones here. Um, I added some charms. I'll show you those in a minute. I added the, um, the, the queen lady. Sorry about the talking in the background. I added the, the red queen of hearts and Alice and then the bottom's just completely brown. I have to add the legs still. Um, I did a video on how to make these flowers, um, they're the avant-garde Prima-inspired flower video. And I showed how to make this blue flower, and it's the same thing as this green flower right here. So go check out those videos. It was just posted yesterday. Um, and then three of these, and it has, I have an altered Muse token, or philosophy tag, by Tim Holt. And then, sorry, my brothers are screaming. Um, I have a couple Prima flowers. Um, and... Um, a crown up here. Um, a little... All of, these are golden leaves. They're aspen leaves. I don't know if you've seen these. They are gold-dipped real leaves. So I added on three of these, and you can find these at Michael's. Um, another rose here. Um, and a little tag up in here. And that's all I did to the front of it, and it looks really embellished. And then, oh, and I took a um, one of the little Tim Holtz trinket pens or whatever these are, and I put, stuck it through the grunge board out the other side and clipped it closed. And I opened the jump ring on this with some pliers, and I added a silver clasp, and I added a steampunk gear, um, a vintage clock hand, um, a vintage key, and um, a unique Muse token. And those all sit on there like that. And inside of my box, so that's the completed box. I'll give you an overview again. And it just opens up like this. And it closes up. And then the little um, ribbon goes onto the, the top of the um, raised gear. So it just 
slips right over the top of that raised gear. And this is what my decoupage box looks like. The charms hang off the side. I love the box. Okay, I'm going to set that over here. And I'm going to show you the jewelry that I make and put in it. These are, this is a pair of steampunk earrings. Steampunk is basically jewelry that is designed with watch parts. It's kind of like gothic style jewelry. It's very vintage jewelry, and so a lot of it's made with clock parts and things. So I'm going to get a piece of paper to show you guys a closer up view. So those are the, my steampunk earrings. And these are all available on my Etsy store. Uh, my Etsy store's name is bead, B-E-A-D, buyer, B-U-Y-E-R, 107.etsy.com. So you guys can go check that out. Um, I have some vintage clock pieces, ornate pieces. They're all on 18 inches of chain, trigger clasp, really pretty. So there's another one. Here's another one. A flower with the watch part some chunky chain in a clasp. Um, this one is kind of like a coiled fragment. It's, um, it was a piece like this and it went all the way out and I wrapped these all into loops and I strung the chain through this loop right here. It has some fun chain on it and a clasp. Um, this is one of my favorites. It's a dragonfly and I just wire wrapped the, um, the, uh, what is this called? The tail. I just wrapped it in a loop and added a little piece on it as a body. And so that's very vintage looking. And this is my favorite one of all. It's a, um, butterfly. And it has a little thing. And I like, I love the little gear sticking out. And you can move it. And I added some Swarovski hotfix crystals and added chain. All of it sterling silver and, um, copper, antique copper. And then this clasp is really neat to hold it to make sure it doesn't come off. You just do that, push it through, and then you can close it up again. So yeah, all of my steampunk jewelry that I'm selling, I'm putting it in, in this box because I don't want it to tarnish. So I used a tarnish guard paint when I painted these. And you can find tarnish guard paint at Michael's. It's basically, it, you, you want to, you're gonna, if you want to paint a car and you don't want it to tarnish, you're going to paint this on the car. Um, you can find them at hardware stores anywhere. So I just painted the inside with Tarnish Guard. It was white and I dyed it with some ink. So that is my completed Alice in Wonderland box. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, have a great day. Bye everyone.